Hey everybody, it's Friday. That means it's time for another question, another answer with Ask Octopus. This question comes from our community Slack, so shout out everybody there who's asking us great questions in the advice channel. The question today is about output variables and the solution uses a feature of the variable substitution syntax that you might not be familiar with. The question is, how do I aggregate output variable values across targets? So you have a deployment step that is running on multiple targets and you're setting an output variable. That means you've got a value per target and maybe you wanna combine them to put them into an email, put them into a manual intervention step, or save it to a file and add it as an artifact, any number of things. So I have a deployment step here that is going to set my output variable. I'm getting the target name, and then I'm setting a object called details that has comments, it's setting a start time, an end time, and then finally I'm converting that to JSON uh, because we can do special things with JSON values in Octopus variables. So I'm gonna set that as an output variable named details. So this step will have an output variable named details with this JSON value. So the first way we're gonna solve this problem is with a variable that creates a text value using this each keyword. Your output variable is a collection of the machines or targets that has uh, that have output variables. So we can use the each keyword to iterate over that. So each machine in octopus.action set details, which is my step name that creates that output variable, dot output. I'm not accessing details yet. I'm just saying, hey, give me each machine that has output on this step. And then I can print or not print because this is a variable, but I can substitute in the machine name, it's start time. And you'll notice here, I'm using that JSON value, that details was JSON. I can just access into its, its properties. So details.starttime.endtime. And because comments was an array or another collection in that JSON value, I can even each and iterate over that. So each comment in machine.details.comments and write a piece of text in this value for each of those. In my task log, I've used write highlight to write that variable value to the log so that we can find it easily. And we can see that it's creating this chunk of text that has details for each machine. Server B, it's start time, end time, it's comments. Then we have server A and server C. And you may ask, well, what if I want those to be in alphabetical order or some other type of order that you decide? And there's not really a way to do that with the variable substitution syntax in a variable directly, but there is a way you can do it with with a script combining with that variable substitution syntax. I have another step that is a PowerShell script step and I am using that each syntax similar to how I did in the variable. I'm gonna get each machine that has output for set details. And then this is going to add lines to my PowerShell script before it runs. So I'm creating an empty array and then there's gonna be three lines that adds server A, server B, server C to my machine's array. And then I can use PowerShell to sort that, iterate over each one, access their details, convert it from JSON to a, a PowerShell object and then write highlight similar to how I did for the variables. So if you do need more control over how you uh, aggregate these values, how you manipulate or order them, uh, you may want to look at this method where you combine the variable substitution to create a custom script uh, at deploy time. And looking at the task log again for this script step, you can see the output is very similar to the step that prints the variable directly, but here it is in the correct order because we did take those machine names and order them. So we have server A, server B, and server C. And again, I'm using write highlight here to make them easy to find. You can put these into an email step. Um, you could even take this value and create a new singular output variable to use further down the line, either as an artifact or the value for an email or a manual intervention. So those are two ways that you can use the variable substitution syntax to aggregate your output variable values. You can use a variable directly or you can use a script if you need more control. Do you have a question about how to do something with Octopus? Email advice at octopus.com and somebody from our team will get you an answer. You might even see that answer on a future Ask Octopus video. Thanks for watching and happy deployments.